Today at the party, we're going to be making one piece into two, so stay tuned. Hey class, welcome back. Mr. G here, your online art professor. Today's piece, we're getting, we're going a, a continuation from the other week where we were talking about cone pieces, taking that cone shape and turning it into a one pot vessel. So for this one, we're going to throw a cone piece out. I'm doing this series because I have, a, I have a love for the great pottery throwdown. I think it's an absolutely wonderful show. Again, it's on HBO Max, you guys can watch it. At this point, I think I've said it so many times, it should be sponsored by them. For this project, I didn't get this design off of the great pottery throwdown. What I got this one was from an art teacher who is in Atlanta, Miss Lemansky Smith. Uh, she is on IG. She has an awesome style that I love to check out. And she took this cone shape and turned it into a one piece vessel. So I wanted to take a riff on that because I think it was really cool. For this project, you're throwing that cone vessel. Now, once that cone vessel start to set up some, I, I do take it off the wheel to set up. Now I throw all my stuff on a bat. And the reason I use a bat, which is that disc thing that's attached to the wheel head is because I leave the bat pin in my wheel that's 100% the reason I don't I'm just lazy I could take the bat pins out and just sort of directly off the wheel head uh, but because I'm throwing several pieces at one time I need to be able to switch out the projects at, at a moment's notice and that's why I use the bats for this once I've set it off to the side to let it firm up a little bit that let that clay just dry out because while you're using it on the wheel it's super super soggy and you want to make sure that the clay dries out a little bit so that you have more less moisture the, to contest with once it's firmed up some I'm putting it back on the wheel head using my index finger I'm going to start bringing in the middle of that cone shape so I can break up those pieces into two different sections pressing it in I've now started to create an interior lip to add to uh, to the carving of the piece so once I add that lip in there then I want to keep adding it in until I come to the point where I think that the walls of the vessel are about the same thickness that is kind of an important thing using my pen tool I'm going to trace around two sections right where the the interior wall meets the top of the bottom section and that's where I'm going to make my slice not making a slice as though I'm cutting it with a knife I'm going to ease into it with the pen tool and let the wheel do the cutting for me once it's separated into two pieces taking a wooden rib to start really refining the interior shelf of that bottom bottom vessel and because I can tell that's way too thick still I'm taking my trim tools and I'm going to go ahead and start carving out pieces from the interior section so I have two different spaces uh, so that it's thinned out a little better for me so that it works. Now to finish off the top part, this was a mistake that I found only after it was done, which was I put the lid in reverse and then threw the interior lip so that I could play with it so that I could get it to work better. And yes, that did work. The problem was is that I let it dry out too long overnight. Instead of covering it with a piece of plastic and let it slow dry out, those two pieces stuck together. Now I did find a solution, but it was after I chipped some of the piece and we'll take a look at that in a minute. I dunked the whole thing in water and just that little bit of water on that bone dry clay. I dunked it in the water, dripped it back out really fast so that's not getting soggy. Just enough to where those two pieces of clay will break apart without any damage really to either piece in those spaces so that I can get those two pieces apart and still work on the piece. And here we go. I love how this piece fits properly on top of this piece. Again, taking that cone and what we're doing is as we're throwing it, we're going to push in just that section of it to start adding in two different levels of where the lid and the interior portion are. Now you can see that I chipped it right here and it chipped because I was trying to, you know, pop these two pieces apart because they were stuck together when they first, when I, when I left them out overnight. Uh, but dunking the whole thing in water. So I just had the piece sitting in so like that, dunked it in water, dumped it out real quick so that just the water is just kind of working as a release agent, able to pop these two pieces apart without breaking this anymore. Cause once I saw this, I was like, Oh no, I broke it. Um, but having that as a one piece vessel, I think is really cool. You can also add more clay to the top of this. Again, this is bone dry, so I wouldn't do it now, but you could add more clay to the top to create a knob, create a different uh, design thing that to add it in there. It's just another part portion of the project just to make it a little better, but cool, simple uh, one-off project kids could do really quickly. All right, that's where I'm gonna be ending class today, guys. I hope that you got something fun out of this experience again. Great Pottery Throwdown, the people that I'm finding online on IG, go check out their websites. I'm putting all their links in the descriptions below as well as uh, the Great Pottery Throwdown. I think they have a YouTube channel even. Go out there, show some love to these guys. Try and get pottery more into the into 
the wheelhouse of everybody that we come across. I love clay. It's my thing. I definitely want to do more of it and I definitely am going to continue to do more of it. So pausing on class today, but before we go, let's go not forget our homework, which is like, subscribe, share on all the various platforms. Get the message out there to as many teachers, friends, students we possibly can. Educate the masses. That is always my goal. Uh, don't forget, if you guys had a question, comment, or concern, raise your hand in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions with my classmates. As always, I will see you guys next class. So until then, later guys.